All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect, scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Tides of War. Back at you again with another lesson. I wanted to uh, touch on John 1 and 1. And uh, so I'm going to just get right into it. This is St. John chapter 1, verse 1. It says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Verse 2, the same was in the beginning with God. All right, now to truly understand, all right, what uh, the word God here represents, you have to understand Genesis 1 and 1. All right, so we go back to Genesis 1 and 1, and I'll read it verbatim first. It says, um, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Now, we know that this is not the most high when it says God. You know, when you look it up, let's go into it real quick. The word God there is Elohim, okay? Which in the Hebrew is Allahayim, all right? Which are the powers, okay? So these are the angels that the most high created, okay? The powers, going to it it says um, rulers judges divine ones angels gods all right and so on okay so these are the judges which are basically the first fruits okay the angels that uh were created after yahweh shai remember yahweh shai who the world ignorantly calls jesus christ he was what the only begotten son which means he was the first spirit created all right so now these rulers and judges powers it says, in the beginning, Allah created the heaven and the earth. All right. So the angels, okay, with Yahweh Shai created everything that exists. And when you continue to read on, you see the word God there, God there. Now, the heavenly father didn't make his presence known until the second chapter. All right. Here in the fourth verse, where he basically put his, he put his name out there. To let it be known that he is the highest okay and through him everything is created through his power okay so uh, genesis 2 and 4 these are the generations of heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day that lord god made the earth and the heavens now when you see lord god you see that lord in all caps before God, you know it's talking about the Heavenly Father, all right, which is the highest, okay, which is the power of all powers, Yahweh, okay, He exists, so Lord God, and how do we know that? When you look it up and you go into the Hebrew, it says Lord, in all caps, it says Jehovah, but as you can see, it says Yahweh, all right, Yahweh. All right, so the Heavenly Father didn't make himself known until the second chapter of Genesis. All right, so when we understand Genesis 1 and 1, and we understand that the word God there represents the powers, then we can go back to the book of John, John 1 and 1. Now it says, in the beginning, okay. Let me read it verbatim one more time. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. So now how you properly read it to have understanding, it says in the beginning was the word, and the word was with the powers, and the word was a power. And it says the same was in the beginning was with the powers, which is Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh Shai is the word okay okay i wanted to uh make a quick point uh here in in john one and one when you go into the word god here right you get the word the greek word theos theos okay and uh real quick the root word of theos is theo all right 
and uh, really it just means God. It says many names beginning with the root Theo derived from the ancient Greek word Theos, which means God. Okay, so now we go back to the blue letter. Okay, and also you got to be mindful the blue letter goes off. But as we read, uh, see it, Holy Spirit, third person. No, I uh, spoke in. See it. Uh, okay, here we are. It says, um, refer to the things of God, his counsels, interests, things due to him. Whatever can in any respect be like unto God or resemble him in any way. God's representative or vicergent. It says of magistrates and judges. See, so this word theos, which the root word is theo, goes back into the Allahayams, the powers, okay, the angels. All right, which was we, we we read in Genesis 1 and 1 when you look up the word God. Okay, God representative or resurgent of magistrates and judges. Okay, these are the judges. So if anyone wanted to look it up and it gives you a different uh, meaning here, but it's still the same. Okay, and um, to prove that, to prove that Yahweh Shai is the word which, which became flesh, uh, first off, let me jump down here to verse 14. Okay. Because remember, it says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with the powers. And that word is Yahweh Shai. So when we jump down here real quick to verse 14, it says, And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth you see being the first spirit created which is Yahweh Shai verse 15 John bare witness of him and cried saying this was he of whom I spect he that cometh after me is preferred before me for he was before me and of his fullness have all we receive and grace for grace for the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right. So just showing you that Yahweh Shai is the word. All right. Which became flesh. OK. And he gave his body as a living sacrifice. That that sacrificial lamb. OK. During the Passover, he was crucified and his blood was spilled in remission to bring the Israelites back to the most high to redeem us from the law. From our sins okay well to redeem us from our iniquities i should say okay but really you know you get into it the lord uh uh died for his for the elect of israel all right which through the elect of israel all israel is uh delivered because the lord okay he prayed for those that was given to him by yahweh and that's the elect all right. He said he prayed not to the world. OK. So. All right. The word was made flesh. And uh, also when we go into uh, the uh, book of First John, chapter one, verse one. All right. It says in which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon. And our hands have handled of the word of life. It says, for the life was manifested and we have seen it and bear witness and show unto you that eternal life, which was with the father and was manifested unto us. All right. And that's Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, when he gave up the spirit, okay, and he died on the cross, well, on the cruci being crucified. He came back the third day, meaning he was resurrected. All right. And when he was resurrected, he came back to the disciples, which later on became the apostles. He was with them for 40 uh, for 40 days. All right. And um, I believe let me let me see real quick. I believe that's in Acts. I believe so. Um, OK. Yeah. Verse three. Yeah. It says um, Acts uh, verse one. Acts chapter one, verse three. 
to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible truths, being seen of them forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of Yahweh. All right, so this is all right, the resurrection, all right, when Yahweh shall return and he showed the disciples, which later on became the apostles, he spoke of the kingdom. And he revealed himself. This was the word, all right, which was made flesh. Okay, so let's just go back to the book of first. Let's go back to the book of first John and one and read it again. And which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled the word of life. Because when Yahweh Shah returned, all right, they wanted to see was it true. I believe Thomas, if I'm not mistaken, he wanted to uh, put his he put his finger inside Yahweh Shah's hand. All right, they touched on him, they handled him. You know, he spoke to them. He was with them for 40 days, speaking of the kingdom. So really, this is the time where the the uh, disciples, all right, which uh, they got the the full understanding. Okay, it says verse two. For the life was manifested and we have seen it and bear witness and show unto you that eternal life, which was with the father. See, Yahweh Shai and was manifested unto us. OK, so Yahweh Shai being the word made flesh. OK, and it says and we bear witness of it. How did they bear witness? Because Yahweh Shai, he was proven through his works. The word was made flesh and we bear witness of it. It was proven through his works, his miracles, all right, his ministry, crucifixion, resurrection. All right, he rose back up the third day. All right, and he stayed with them for 40 days. All right. So the word was made flesh. Now, I want to read verse 3. It says, That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us and truly our fellowship is with the father and with his son Yahweh Shah Hamashiach St. John chapter 11 verse 25 Yahweh Shah said unto her I am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me though he were dead yet shall he live and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die Believest thou this? All right. So basically through Yahweh Shah's resurrection, it proved, all right, the word was made flesh. And we have the word now through the Rakha Kodash, which is the Lord's Holy Spirit, which he will give as the comforter to comfort us in these latter days. All right. So let me go back to the book of 1 John and the four, uh, 1 John 1 and 4. It says, in these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you, that Yahweh is light, and in him is no darkness at all. See, so the Lord Yahweh Shai is the light, because why? He's the word. All right, the scriptures say uh, uh, it was written in the value, he is written in the volume of the book. Okay. You know, so basically, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to cut it short. Let me go into the book of Hebrews real quick. And I'm going to end it with that. Uh, Cause it's a couple of more precepts I have, but I like, I want to make it quick. This is Hebrews one and one. It says, uh, God, Yahweh, who at sun dry times and in diverse manners speck in times past unto the father by the prophets, having these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he have appointed heir of all things by whom also he made the worlds. See, so Yahweh Shai and the Alahayim, the powers, made the worlds, man. Okay. Through the heavenly father, Yahweh, it says, who being the brightness, who being in the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power. And when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. 
being made so much better than the angels as he have by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they for unto which of the angels said he at any time thou art my son this day i have begotten thee and again i will be to him a father and he shall be to me a son and again when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world he say and let all the angels of Yahweh worship him and of the angels he say who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire but unto the son he say thou throne O God O Yahweh is forever and ever a scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity therefore Yahweh even thy power have anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows is the point and thou Lord in the beginning has laid the foundation of the earth and the heavens are the works of thine hands all right so hopefully i hope this this lesson was edifying i wanted to do a real quick lesson on uh john one and one and bring out a few precepts all right i want to give all praises to yahweh by shimmy hawashai by hashim rakakwadash double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well salutations to the lord's hopeful elect shalom